Capricorn, welcome to your reading for May the 23rd to the 29th, 2024. We're going to just call in now the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings, Spirit Guides and our Higher Selves to assist us with this reading. We're just going to dive straight in now and grab a card for your central theme for this reading. The Eight of Swords. This is a card about can be a card about setting yourself free. It can be a card about perhaps uh, not seeing things around you or there are things going on that you can't see. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab a little bit. We're going to also do your reading now. So uh, we'll get some more info on that as we go through your reading. Also, just like to let you know that to please feel free to like and subscribe if you find this reading resonates with you. Okay. So let's grab two cards now, Capricorn, for your some energy that you might be in at the moment or an issue that you're dealing with, that you are possibly dealing with. We have the King of Pentacles and the Moon. Uh, yeah, so the Moon is, of course, a major arcana. So this is about some deep stuff you're considering and it looks like it has to do with your perhaps your health and well-being organizing your finances organizing property taking care of responsibilities uh, perhaps there's uh, you know like an opportunity come up coming up for you maybe a purchase that you like to make and you're really just kind of mulling over uh, what you know there might be deeper things affecting affecting this decision but it can also be about you just looking at your responsibilities, okay? And just looking at your, also considering your subconscious. And even this card here is that sometimes this can be a card of like withdrawing our senses and just going within as well to just find out what's going on deep uh, within our psyches. Because obviously, you know, uh, how we think and feel about life does impact our actions so it could be here that you know you're feeling that you've achieved a lot but now it could be that you're thinking well is there more perhaps there's more to life than just um, you know being comfortable and uh, yeah so this could be that a card of you looking into that as well and there could be part of you that feels a little restricted um, and this is sometimes a card about self-imposed restrictions. So it could be about um, some limiting um, beliefs that you have about yourself. Or it could be, you know, some self-doubt, um, you know. And often when we get caught in, you know, responsibility, sometimes it feels as though we are a little bit trapped and like, you know, it's difficult for us to move into something else or move into something new uh, because of if there's any amount of risk involved okay it depends on the nature of the risk doesn't it so let's just grab a card now to just see uh, what your energy is at you at the moment <sighs> page of wands so at the moment the wands keep coming up folks uh, this passion and purpose suit so even uh, also with you Capricorn it's like you have kind of identified that you want to be doing something um, that's more in alignment with your inner passion, what you're passionate about, what you really love to do. Okay. And this could be what you are contemplating here. Okay. You're really looking at, you know, looking at that as a, as a possibility for yourself uh, and possibly, you know, at the same time feeling a little bit like, Mm, I don't think I can do it. But let's continue. As the plot thickens, Capricorn, we will see. Yeah, uh, so you're really looking to, this is short term, looking to, you're taking this idea here and you're really looking to investigate it, like you're really thinking about it and you're kind of going to be strategizing, I believe, and working out a, you know, a responsible plan of action in order to move forward on that okay and it's not like you are a stranger to that this is actually your power card king of pentacles Woohoo! so you're actually in your power capricorn at the moment and 
you're just wanting to get a little bit of something else going in your life. Let's look at what you're bringing to the table in terms of your talents, skills and abilities, which may be hidden from your view. Well, they may not be. The magician. Do you consider yourself to be a magician? Because you may be a magician in disguise or you have an inner magician. This is the energy of being able to manifest, be able to transmute things, be able to bring your dreams into reality. So, uh, and Capricorns, you know, I know you have the, the patience of, you know, extreme patience and, you know, you love to do have a plan and put it into action step by step. So you definitely have this energy and this is what you bring to the table. Okay, you, you have that ability to manifest um, whatever it is that you're looking to create, which is really fantastic. There's so many amazing energies coming through with these readings today. I really love it. Thank you, Spirit, for helping us with this reading. And here we have, oh, wow, can we get any better than this? We have the Magician and the freaking High Priestess. Capricorn, what's going on? Uh, like, in the future... I mean, what's going on in a good way. Um, this is almost like you are, this is your inner wisdom. Like with this higher self, there's some alignment energy coming in here and there's going to be an opportunity for you in the near future for you to either get a sense of this, to get step into this energy more, or, uh, yeah. The High Priestess definitely has things in common with the Page of Wands because this is about passion and purpose, which is strongly linked to our spiritual alignment, Okay our higher self, what we are wanting to do with our life that's going to fulfill us. And this is about you here, Capricorn, getting that fulfillment. And uh, I believe that when this happens, you will be pulling your arms out of here, dropping those bandage bandages, taking your blindfold off and stepping out from between these swords and doing what you need to do, okay? You will be activating this and you will probably be able to, if not, fairly quickly over a short space of time or a few months or whatever you will be able to break down that inner resistance or any barriers that you feel that are holding you back uh, you know you'll be able to break through and begin your journey this is fantastic everyone's awakening in these readings today it's freaking awesome right let's see how you are feeling about it you have the moon in the high priestess this is just amazing all of your intuition, your deep stuff's coming up to help you right now, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I just love this card. It's like about slow, steady progress forward. And that's how you're thinking and that's how you're feeling. And that is so Capricorn because this is how you like to do things, I believe. And look at these colors here. You're moving forward at a steady pace with a positive outlook. You've got a plan. You're moving forward. And, you know, that's these two go to kind of go together here you are strategizing and thinking about the plan and here you are putting it into action and I think you don't have it's almost like you don't have any doubts about your ability to do it but it's it could be more about there may be responsibilities that you feel that you need to responsibility boxes that you feel you need to tick okay and you're almost doing some soul searching. I mean, the boxes that you've got to tick, you're feeling are keeping you trapped, okay? But it's like you are doing some soul searching. You're really doing some soul searching right now to find out, um, yeah, how you're going to integrate this new, this newfound passion whilst perhaps maintaining responsibilities or delegating or shifting things around and renegotiating and working out some things there too. Let's look at... Uh, your environment around you. Let's see if that's going to be conducive for you. Um, okay. You have a very nurturing energy around you. Queen of Pentacles, which is literally your divine counterpart almost. So it could be that um, if this is representing a person who's you know not in your life currently, it could be a new potential partner coming in. But it could also represent that you have what you need and you have the support that you need and the nurturance and the um, the resources that you need in order to move forward. Uh, there's also a lot of grounding energy. You may have access to um, nature as well, which would also really help. Um, 
yeah grounding and coming into contact with nature and really embodying and bringing the energy out of the head really helps this um overthinking procrastination and um paralysis by analysis energy okay let's look at the long-term goal so perhaps what you're looking to achieve is seven of cups yeah so you're looking to have more opportunities open to you okay this is um choice making a choice okay i think what's coming to my mind now is that you're wanting to be freer to choose so it's almost like you know if this person had to make a choice with their hands strapped behind their back if they had to pick up a cup and they couldn't pick up a cup but what you're wanting to be is like you know you want to have your hands free to be able to make the choice that you want to make okay i think that's that's the state that you're wanting to feel into and create for yourself let's have a look here about uh, what you can expect if you definitely come into that higher self connection energy coming into contact with your inner wisdom yeah you can expect that you're going to be able to balance things a lot better wow this is cool so that that thing about you fulfilling responsibilities and being able to embark on something spiritual for yourself you will be able to do that more easily okay this is about creating balance and it's about navigating those two energies you know so here you are you know being responsible and you know here you are doing your your spiritual thing whatever that is it doesn't have to be meditation okay it could be a creative project it could be working with with people in um, a community setting or a hobby or anything okay or here you, are, you know this is you being spiritually you know inspired as well whilst feeling was feeling feeling responsibilities okay or renegotiating how they are going to be organized how the responsibilities are going to be fulfilled and carried out so it might be you know juggling some things around here capricorn um that's pretty much what i've got for you for today actually but it's looking really positive like it's not going to be long and you'll be feeling you won't be feeling like trapped okay if there's a bit of that energy going on at the moment okay your restrictions will dissipate and dissolve i mean you have the the magician energy uh what could we clarify one card to clarify uh okay yeah, let's clarify the let's clarify the eight of swords okay the energy that we're going to put next to the eight of swords to just have a look at is your king of pentacles there we go there we go capricorn that is your power card so you are going to be getting power over that okay if you're feeling like this you know you've got two of your power cards here snap and it's like you will step into your power you will become hands-free you will have you get your you know your vision to be able to see what you need to see and you will be able to move where you need to put yourself fantastic capricorn um i hope that was helpful um i look forward to our next reading but in the meantime please have a lovely day and an awesome week and i will catch you then bye for now